Welcome back guys. In this lecture, we're going to be working with strings. So what are strings? Strings are just a group of human readable characters enclosed by single or double quote marks. Now, strings may contain alphabetic letters, numbers, and punctuations. Now, single quoted string literals. Now, a single quoted string literal is just, again, a group of characters within single quote marks. The single quote marks are not part of the string itself. Their job is just to let Perl know where the string starts and where it ends. Now, any character between the single quote marks besides a single quote mark or backslash it just represents itself. To use a single quote, use the backslash followed by the single quote. And to use a backslash, put two backslashes to use just one backslash. And I'll show you guys how to do this with our examples as well. So let's talk about double quoted string literals. So again, it's just a group of characters enclosed this time by double quotes. Now, you may use the special backslash escape character to extend its full power of non-principal characters. So that's the benefit of using double quote marks. It uses escape characters to print, of course, non-printable characters, which I'll show you as well. So some of the often used escape characters, so to create a new line after a string, it's backslash n, and to create a tab space, it's backslash t, and of course to create just a single backslash, you have to put double backslash because the single backslash, it lets Perl know that we're going to be using an ex a special escape character within our string. So if you want to use a double quotation mark inside a string, you put two additional ones. So it'll be double quotation mark, double quotation mark. So string operators. Let's talk about the dot operator, or I'll look at it as the concatenation operator. So we can actually combine strings. So strings can be joined together with the dot operator, or also known as a period character. Now this does not modify the current string. So let's jump into examples. So here we are. We're going to do some live examples. So let's start with the single quote marks. So let's declare a variable. And we start with the dollar sign. Let's just call it string one. Followed by an assignment operator to give it a value. And let's just call this value. This is value one. Okay. And we'll just copy this line of code and paste it to make another string, but we're going to call this one string two. And for this value, we're going to use double quotes. Okay, so I'll put double quotes. Value two. Okay, so if we print string one, let's see what happens. So I'll copy string one and paste it in here. Save our work, go to run, run script. Okay, nothing fancy. It just printed our value. This is value one, press any key to continue. Now let's look at string two. So if we just replace the zero one with zero two, Let's see what happens here. We go to run, run script. Pretty much it did the same thing, correct? That's as we see. 
So now let's use some power with the double quotation marks. So if we use the escape, our special escape character, and we want to add a new line to our string, remember it's backslash to let Perl know that, that we're going to be using a escape character and the new line character. We save it, click run, run script, there we have it. So now we were able to create a new line and as we can see press any key to continue is on a new line by itself and of course we can do a tab as well so we use backslash t just to kind just to let you guys see what it looks like and let me see here click run script so as we can see it gave us an invisible tab press any key to continue instead of our new line character so that's the power of using double quotation marks we can use non printable characters which is very nice because we can format text so let's use the string concatenation or our dot operator so if we take string one and we use the dot for combining strings. We take string two, save our work, click run, run script, and look what happens. This is value one, this is value two. Of course, we still have the tab here as well on our string two. So let's remove the T and put an N, and we can actually add a space. So let's add a space so let's just use double quotation marks and add a space and after the double quotation marks again we're going to use another dot operator to combine all three strings and let's see what happens now go to run run script and there we have it we have this is value one with a space this is value two with a new line that's being created with press any key to continue by itself so again, if we want to just use a, let's say, um, let's say, I'm going to put my name, Victor's. And of course, if we do this and we run that, it's going to give us a bunch of errors. Why? Because we want to escape and use this lit literal character, which is a single, a single quote. So we have to use the backslash. And that's to let Perl know we want to use that character literally. Run the script, and there we have it. Victor's is value one. So pretty much that's in a nutshell with using strings. So just remember using single quotes, you're literally writing char characters li literally to display. And for double quotation marks, you're actually using, you have the ability to use the special escape characters to print non-printable um, characters or use non-printable characters for, for formatting. So if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll see you in our next lecture.